All right, welcome back, fourth grade Bengals. We are at day three. So let's go over yesterday's day two exit ticket. We have six times tables we're doing. Six times one, six times two, six times three, six times four, six times five, and six times six. Six, twelve, eighteen. 24, 30, 36. Hmm. If you got it wrong, could this be where the first mistake happened or the mistake happened? 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 3, according to this, is 36. Leave the 6, carry the 3. Regroup it. 6 times 5 is 30, plus the 3 gives you 33 giving me an answer of 3,360. Be careful of that regrouping. It can catch a lot of students off guard and make a lot of mistakes happen. Okay, today we are still doing three digit times one digit, but this time there is a different number besides zero in the ones place. We have a digit, we're gonna have digits one through nine in ones, tens, and hundreds in our, of our three digit number. So, for starters, I'm gonna write my three times tables. Three times one, three times two, three times three, three times four, three times five, all up to three times seven. Three times six, and three times seven. 3 times 1 is 3, so I'm going to write 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. So let's start off with 3 times 6 here, giving me 18. I leave the 8, I carry the 1. I have to regroup that 1 of 18. Technically it's 10, but we look at it as just 1. Okay? Then we do 3 times 7, which gives you 21, but I can't forget to add that 1 there to give me 22. Carry the 2 of the 22. Then I do 3 times 3, which makes 9, plus 2, which gives you 11, giving me an answer of 1,128. Okay. Awesome, awesome job. Now let's move on to number two. So with this one, I would write my three times tables. Oh, do I have to, really? Or can I just use these right here? I could just use these right here, right? And I'm going still up to six, or well, up to seven is the highest, which is what I have right here. So why recreate something that I already have somewhere else, right? So 467 times 3, go ahead and solve that now by hitting the pause button. Okay, 467 times 3. 3 times 1 equals 3. And I, wrote, I just recopied what I had here over here. I like to keep things organized, so that's why I did that. 3 times 7 equals 21. Leave the 1, carry the 2 from 21. 6 times 3 gives me 18. Plus 2 gives me 20. Leave the 0, carry the 2 of 20. 3 times 4 equals 12. Plus the 2 equals 14. Therefore, giving me an answer of 1,400. One. One thousand four hundred one. So I hope you got that as an answer, but if you didn't, really look hard and deep and say, where am I making that mistake? So you can feel confident on the next one not to make that same mistake. Number three, 254 times nine. So nine times tables it can be a little bit trickier for some people. So go ahead and solve that now by hitting the pause button. Okay, so I wrote my nine times tables first. 
write all the products of these factors up to 9 times 5. So 9 times 4 equals 36. Carry the 3. 9 times 5 equals 45. Add the 3 from the previous product. And you get 45 plus 3, which equals 48. Leave the 8, carry the 4 from 48. 2 times 9 equals 18. Plus 4 gives you 22. Giving me an answer of 2,286. All right, last but not least is number 4. 338 times 6. Get those 6 times tables written down and go ahead to solve. Don't forget to hit the pause button now. 338 times 6. So 6 times 8, which according to my multiplication facts is 48. Leave the 8, carry the 4 from 48. 3 times 6 is 18, okay, uh, plus the 4 gives you 22, carry the 2 from the 20 of 22. 6 times 3 equals another 18, plus 2 gives you 20, leaving me with a product of 2,028. So. I hope either A, if you're making mistakes, you're identifying them and you're feeling confident for the exit ticket, or B, maybe you've identified your, your mistake way back in the earlier problems, but now you're not making the mistake anymore, which would be awesome. So with that being said, go ahead, solve today's exit ticket question of 565 times 6. Make sure it's written down in your packet so you have all that because you'll be handing in your packet at the end of class, end of the, se the session, uh, at the end of four weeks. And I just want to see all that work done. And answer it on the Google form in your Google Classroom for today. Remember, today's week one, day three. Thanks so much for participating, and we'll see you back here next week.